gonna tie the steelhead specific purple tailed fuchsia bodied articulated leech. Got the Kamikatsu B10S Stinger size 2 for the back hook. Steelhead are mighty fish, so you need a mighty hook. You start by putting just a just a little hint of a dark purple tip on the very tail of this fuchsia. Then add your flash on a string. You want all these to weave together right from the very beginning. That purple tail is going to be relatively short, so I'm going to leave my thread where I want the purple to end. So this is basically one of my favorite flies. I tie this fly 50, 60 different styles really in the end. This is one of my favorite for steelhead right here. I'll just wrap these together. Pretty simple palmer. Got my flash on a string already working into it. Want this to be pretty short, so I'm going to stop right there. And that's just going to be the very, very tip of the tail of this fly. It's kind of a pain in the butt to work with some of this material, but it's also very simple once you get the hang of it. Okay, now you want to attach your fuchsia rabbit. Just get a little tag end going to tie off. Make sure it's secured. The fuchsia overlaps the purple here and just weaves in, palmers out and weaves in with this flash on a string. Makes for a gorgeous looking fly. Get away with these really funky, huge lure type flies for steelhead and salmon. I have a lot of fun with the with the colors and all the flash and it's pretty easy material to work with and it looks gorgeous in the water so I'm working this up kind of taking my time because to work these two together you have to babysit it to make sure it all turns out the way you want here Secure them both up at the front of your back hook. And then tie it off. You're basically tying two flies with an articulated leech. Your back fly is pretty much done now, just short of getting some backing through it so that you can attach it to the front hook. So this continues forward, the flash and the rabbit. So just disconnect that and set her down. Get your front hook, which I use a size 2 streamer with a down bent eye and some tungsten cone head here in silver. Large silver tungsten, very heavy. Your articulated junction depends on this articulated connection. 
where you're connecting the back fly to the front fly and if you don't have a really good system for connecting these then they slip and fail. I've developed this system for me to know for sure it's not going to fail because I just overkill everything. Way too much thread, way too much backing. But that way I know if I even hook a king salmon it's not going to break at my junction here. This is two strands of 20 pound backing, two separate strands in the end. If one fails, you got another 20 pound ready to go right behind it. It's a redundant backup. I love that kind of stuff. And then I really pin this thing down. You're not going to lose your fish because of this junction. I don't hesitate to put this much effort into every single junction with this backing. That is going nowhere and you know it. Now bring your flash on a string forward. Make sure it's secured. Okay. Your flash is pinned down. I just do it because it's easier. You could do them at the same time if you're good at this kind of stuff. I'm still struggling. Thousands of these later. Furry, hairy, messy. But my favorite flies, my go to flies that I could never live without. So I put up with this hassle of the two flies to make one and the hassle of the materials sometimes and that it takes a little longer to complete a fly this big but it's all worth it because it, it does its job and that's all that matters and it does it well okay now that's cinched off, you want to continue bringing your flash and your rabbit forward. Really work that flash evenly in with the rabbit if you want a nice, neat looking fly. You could probably spin this all the way without touching it and it would be fine, but I like to work this flash in and know it's laying down where I want it. Really taking a lot more time than you need to. If you just spun this thing, it'd probably work out fine. You'd be all the way up to the tip finishing it off. Get it all the way in, tucked in behind this tungsten cone head there so it tucks in deep. Snip this off a little bit with a tag in there that stuffs down in there just to absolutely make sure you got a really good bite. The only thing left to do is cut this front hook off so it runs flush. There's your purple tailed, fuchsia bodied, articulated leech. Look at that baby. Holy cow. That is snappy.